Lieutenant Colonel Ryder, tell us about yourself, about your position, and why it's so important here at the Marine Military Academy in Harlingen, Texas. Well, I've been at the Marine Military Academy now for 15 years. Uh, had only intended on staying two after I transitioned out of the Marine Corps, and then I was going to get rich because you certainly didn't get rich in the military. But the school and the mission of the school has so influenced me that uh, 15 years later I'm still here. I had uh, come from the Marine Corps and I knew about MMA because I had been a company officer at the Naval Academy for three years. And I met a number of midshipmen at the Academy who had graduated from MMA and they were head and shoulders above their peers, not necessarily academically, but the leadership part. And so I said, man, I'll go down and check, take a look. They were looking for a director of admissions at that time. I came down, and the general at that time, who was our president, was my first boss as a second lieutenant straight out of college. So he said, hello, Bob. I said, hello, sir, and the rest is history. I'm still here. And, you know, I, I'm rich, but I'm rich in a different different uh, way than a monetary rich. This school has such a mission and produces such great young men that uh, it's just kind of in my blood. And what I do now is I raise money. For nine and a half years I was the director of admissions, but now I am the director of development. So it's my role to provide funds and raise funds that uh, may offset what the tuition can't cover to make sure that we uh, are doing well. Now tell us about the giving. So the tuition, you, you mentioned the tuition doesn't cover the cost of doing business at Marine Military Academy. Tell us how uh, contributors make it, can make a difference at MMA. Well, you know, we have our, our data bank, or our givers, um, we probably have about five or 6,000 in our data bank. And we have individuals that will give, give me a dollar a month. And there I, we have individuals that will give us bigger gifts. But all that money adds up, and all of them get my personal thanks always, too, because it's so very important to do that. But all that money adds up, whether it's a dollar or $10,000 or $5,000, and uh, we have to raise, or I have to raise, or our department has to raise a uh, million dollars a year additional unrestricted operating funds. So we send out letters. We we will get some planned giving gifts such as uh, irrevocable trust, uh, wills, um, annuities. So there's all kinds of ways for uh, individuals to donate to the academy. And then anybody that, uh, we really try to focus on a lot of Marines, former Marines, because they understand the, the structure and the discipline that the Marine Military Academy provides our young cadets and they associate with that. But our parents are huge donors, our board of trustees are huge donors. When a donor gives a gift, what does it truly mean to MMA? Well, as I said earlier, my, my focus every year is I have to raise a certain amount of money to offset the program, or offset what the tuition doesn't cover for the program. So when a donor sends a gift to the academy, they are ensuring that Boy Scouts, community service, top-of-the-line teachers in the uh, academic department, top-of-the-line uh, drill instructors, the staff and faculty is second to none. Um, all those things are so important to make sure that we are providing the best for that young man that is here because, as I said earlier, academically they're all going to be pretty good. Some will be up here, some will be down here. They'll all be strong academically. But where you really want to focus, too, is that leadership, the responsibility, uh, the self-confidence, all those extracurricular activities, the academics, the military, that all ties into one. And if you can't provide the best, then you're not, you're not going to get the best. And that's why it's so important for those funds to come in so that we can give them the best. As we wrap up this interview, I'd like you to go back and touch on briefly what are the different ways uh, that a donor can give? If a person has never given to MMA, the first thing I would like for them to do is contact us. And uh, we would like, you know, you have to believe in what you're giving to. Them. I believe, that's why I'm still here, I believe in this school. So 
and I know that I get all the phone calls and I get all the from the Firefighters Association and all these things, but I don't know them. They need to know us. So because they have to feel comfortable. And so if they contact us, we're gonna send them some our leader that lets them know what's going on in, on a, a eight times a year on the basis. Uh, and once they feel comfortable, then they can, you know, they can give us as much as they want or whatever they can afford or, or whatever. Uh, if they're already donors, uh, they can do uh, gifts through the mail. They can do annuities. They can do wills. They can do trust. They can, they can get them a oak tree on campus. They can get a brick pack. For the military that have been, especially our older generation and our greatest generation, uh, they can do brick pavers at our chosen gate. You know, I think one of the most important things is, and we always say, it, especially when we do in the admissions department, that uh, if a family will come to MMA and tour, the school will sell itself. And that's the same thing we say about donors too. It, you know, if you, if you come to MMA and you go to the classrooms and you watch what goes on, you can't help but walk away from this school and say, God, what a hidden treasure this is. Because that's what MMA truly is, you know. And uh, if they can do that, they'll understand why every faculty member and every staff member has such a passion for this school. You mentioned the newsletter, The Leader. Um, what are some of the other ways that the givers can find out about the Marine Military Academy? Well, obviously, I think, you know, in the world of technology, I think the first thing you do is you go to our website. But if you look on our website, you'll also see Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. And you can learn so much about the Academy just from that. And on our website without the Facebook, the Twitter, and the uh, YouTube, we do have a section in there for development that talks about the various ways that they can uh, contribute to the Academy. Um, what is the phone number if somebody wanted to give you a call today after seeing this video? Who would they need to call? Give us a, a phone number and email address. Well, I'm going to give you my cell phone. That's how much I believe in this school. You can interrupt me anytime. And my cell phone number is 956-793-8952. Uh, my email is grider at mma-tx.org. I think we've covered a lot today. There's uh, certainly a lot of very positive things happening here at the Marine Military Academy uh, that will produce future leaders for the entire country. Is there anything else that you'd like to add before we wrap this up? Just one thing. As I said, you have to have a passion. That's why you're sitting here for 15 years. And, and doing what you do. I just encourage everybody to come and visit us and come and see what this school does for our future leaders in tomorrow.